Welcome to Audrey Southern Cooking. My name is Nita. Welcome to my kitchen. So what we do here is we make Southern recipes. I try to go by my mothers and grandmothers as best I can. And sometimes I do change them just a little bit to uh, make them a little bit more modern or make them a little different. So if you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so excited that you came by. Please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll get all my videos and make sure you like the page so that other people can see it as well. Also, if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited you came. So what are we gonna do today? Well, it's uh, September. This fall is, it's trying to peek its head around the corner. Oh. I just can't wait y'all. So we're gonna make something that is great for when it gets cool weather or cold weather. Um, you can can this recipe as well. So we might try to can a little bit of this. So let's see what we got. Oh, just a word of the wise. If you hear cat meowing, Izzy just came in and laid down the floor. She says she doesn't really wanna be in the video today but we don't know, she may pop up at any minute. Also, don't forget your sweet tea. Lord, it's hot in the kitchen already this morning. Oh, but outside temperature is so nice. Oh, all right, let's see what we gotta have. Okay, so for today's video, we've got tomatoes. I'm going to uh, peel these, then I'm going to take out that center core it's just really this part right here. And also we're gonna take the seeds out of them. Tomato juice, some salt, and I forgot, every video I forget something. Well, I forgot to get basil leaves. So I have some crushed basil leaves and that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna use. Salt and heavy whipping cream. So you're going, well, what are you making? We're gonna make creamy tomato and basil soup. Oh, I am not a tomato soup person. I have to, I'm not gonna lie, but I made this several years ago and it was so good. I could not get enough and I lost my recipe. Well, I found it. <laughs> so we're gonna make it today and we may even talk about how to can it because anytime you do anything with like tomatoes and things like that, your uh, different vegetables are different but these will have to be canned in an entirely different way, so we may not go over that today. But we are gonna make soup. And I also have some crusty bread that I am finishing up. We're gonna bake that. We're gonna make grilled cheese to go with this. I have some uh, Munster cheese, which I love. So we're gonna use that in some crusty bread that I got. I got it at Kroger's. So it's one of those you buy to take home and you bake it. So I'm gonna bake that real quick while we're getting these tomatoes and things ready. So let's get started. All right, so I've got Asiago cheese bread. Now this is, I got it at Kroger's, but it is from Panera. Now this is pretty much baked. You're just basically gonna heat it up. So while all this is getting done, I'm gonna go ahead and Put this in the oven so that it will be cooled back down some so that I can slice it. Like, this is gonna be so good, y'all. I love me some cheese and bread. Y'all already know this if you've been watching my videos. <sighs> this is gonna be great. So there's the bread. It's so pretty and oh my God, it smells delicious. So I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes um, just to get it good and hot. I'm gonna let it cool off some, um, then we're going to slice it and we're gonna put some other cheese in there and make grilled cheese. But for now, we're gonna start on these. Let me put this in the oven and we'll be right back. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, is I've already washed my tomatoes, and but we're gonna peel them. So I have my little peel, I have, I got this little bowl here. I'm gonna put the peels and the rest of it in. And then I'm gonna put these in this bigger bowl and then we'll be, we'll get started. All right, I'm gonna show you how I peel a tomato. 
I'm sure you've peeled tomatoes before. My knife is not that sharp. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this end off. And you can kind of see the peel. The peeling is already coming off. So you're just gonna go as thin as you can. As thin as you can, I may have to get a different knife. All right, let me pause this. Let me get a better knife, one moment. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> All right, so I got a better knife this time. And you're just gonna try to do it as thin as you can. You don't wanna cut too much. I used to peel tomatoes and used to be an expert at it. Oh, I used to be such an expert at it because when, um, when I was younger, we always had a garden and we had tomatoes and tomatoes and more tomatoes and more tomatoes because my mom would um, can the tomatoes whole. She would make uh, like juice, the tomato juice and can that. So we would eat fresh tomatoes every day. Oh God, tomatoes with dinner. When you're having cucumbers, tomatoes, and you've got black eyed peas and cornbread and butter beans. That was what we had every meal during the summer. And, when, and I mean fresh peas that were probably picked either yesterday or last week what we would do is we'd pick them and then we would um, go ahead and she'd blanch them and put them up. I don't know how she did that work full-time job. Bless her. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do this on this one tomato. So I've already got it peeled, as you can see. So I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to go around this core. Be really careful. Don't cut your finger. Just gonna pull that out. All right, so there's the core out. Now, in order to to uh, get the seeds out, you're gonna have to cut it. And there's a little bit of core. If you see that little white, just cut it. So you see these tomatoes. I mean, <laughs> you see the seeds. So just uh, stick your finger in there and get those seeds out. You're not probably gonna get them all. Honey, it's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world if you cannot get these all these seeds out. And I'm gonna show you another way to do them as well. But since we can see those, that's what we're doing. So now, since I have this one, all the seeds are out of it, I'm going to dice it. So I just, I just sliced it. You know, however many times you want. You can don't, you know, however, whatever you want to do, however small or big. And I'm putting them in my bowl over here. Then I'm going to take my next piece. I'm just going to quarter it. To try to get these seeds out. Because honestly, this is going to make it a little bit less juicy. If there's any way to make tomatoes less juicy, is to get those seeds out there. Because when you slice it here, then you have more seeds. And then that is just makes more juice. So you have a bigger mess. That's the only thing. You can do it however you want. It just makes a bigger mess on your counter. Or on your uh, cutting board, I should say. So after a while, you're going to have to... You will have to wipe it off. And that's perfectly fine. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Scoop them up. Put them in my bowl. Let me move my bowl here where you can see. And that's all I'm going to do. It's just slice... Slice and then 
take the long way and just cut them into little little portions. So as you can see, it just dices them up, put them in your bowl. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back to the counter. There's all my peels and my seeds and some juice. My diced tomatoes, you will see some seeds in there. You can't uh, get them all out unless you wanna use some cheesecloth and all that and that, that doesn't bother me, so it's up to you. So we're gonna move over. I'm gonna put these in a stock pot for 30 minutes and cook them on a medium heat and then we're gonna puree them in our Ninja. So let's move over to the stove so you can see me, uh, see what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, here's my stock pot. I've already got it on medium. I'm putting these in and I'm gonna let these uh, simmer. They're gonna cook down for about 30 minutes and then my ninja right here we're going to blend them and puree them and they'll go back in the stock pot and then we'll, that's when we're at our other ingredients okay so i'll be back when these are ready all right welcome back so i've stewed my tomatoes they cooked for um i simmered them for 30 minutes and i've moved my blender over here so i'm going to pour this in but I didn't want to pour it all over the place because I can make a mess. I'm gonna get my pot holders here. We're gonna pour this in. I'm not gonna move you because we're just gonna pour this in and bring it back over here. And I'm not gonna wash the pot because we're gonna put it right back in the pot right back on the stove high, it's off. There you go. So let me pull my blender out where you can see it a little better. Okay, so it's kind of heavy and it's got suction cups, so we're just gonna turn the camera around. All right, can you see it? Put my lid on. Everything's shut. We're turning the power on. And I'm going to put it on blend. All right, so I did that for about 30 seconds. Let's take a look at it. All right, that looks good. Oh, the blades were hot. Pouring it back in my stock pot. Let me clean up and get my other stuff together. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So, I've got my tomatoes here back on. Oops, no, I don't. I'm going to put them on about a medium. I'm going to add four cups of tomato juice. And the recipe, again, will be in the bottom. And my basil leaves, because I don't have fresh ones, I forgot. I don't have that much in here. About a quarter of a cup, so I'm just going to put that whole thing. It's supposed to be 14 fresh leaves. And then you blend them with the uh, tomatoes. But, so that'll be about right. Stir that. And then we're gonna put one cup of heavy cream. Ooh, that's gonna be so good, y'all. 
Look at that. And a stick of butter or a half a cup. So I'm just gonna put the whole stick. I'm not gonna chop it up. And you're just gonna salt, pepper to taste. And then you're gonna heat this up until that butter is melted. And that's all you gotta do. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous color. Oh, God. All right. So we've got that, like I said, on about a medium. So that's going to take a few minutes to heat up. back everything's done it looks delicious and I am apologizing because I am sweating and don't have much makeup on anymore all right look at the bread oh, look at that oh yeah. it's gonna be too good it's gonna be way too good y'all look at the soup look at that mm. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I am not a tomato soup person. Wow, this is so good. Oh my gosh, all right. I'm gonna take a piece of the Havarti. You can see I almost burnt that one side. <laughs> mm. Even without that, it's good. I gotta dip it in there. Mm. That is so good, y'all. It's going to be so good when it's cold. I'm sweating in this kitchen and it's hot. And it's still delicious. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, the description in below will be the recipe. And I'll have a few links in there. Uh, go ahead and look at those links. One is for PayPal. One is for Venmo. Uh, those are help to support my channel, which I would greatly appreciate if you would. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and that like button and leave me some comments. Ask some questions. I'll be glad to answer. All right. Well, thank y'all so much for watching again. If y'all um, enjoyed it again, like I said, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Thank y'all. And don't forget your sweet tea. Y'all have a great day.